Wait. Are you saying that we've already booked up like six months? Yes. Six months, people, we're booked. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey there. So you may have heard that we have decided to postpone our Tennessee projects to February 2021. Yep, we've got a huge gap right now. We did it because of the spike in cases of COVID and we like to keep everybody safe. So that's exactly the decision we made. We wanna thank everybody who was set to volunteer here this next week for stepping up and for your understanding. Yeah, it was a tough decision, but in conversation with Tennessee, we just decided it was the, the best decision to make to just hold off and keep everybody a little extra safe. So that's what we're doing. We're kicking everything into 2021. And boy, do we have a busy 2021 already scheduled. It's amazing. We have aligned six projects, six. So we have basically the first six months of 2021 already booked. We want you guys to stay tuned because it starts fast and uh, hopefully this whole coronavirus thing will kind of peak and we'll be back to a position where we can start up again. But it looks like we're shooting for the end of January. Yeah, so it looks like our first stop right now is going to be in Georgia. We'll release the full details of the when, the where, the why, the what, and all that um, a little bit later. But Georgia's going to be our first stop in late January. And from there, we've regrouped to Tennessee again, where we're going to hit Fall Creek Falls and then Paris Landing and then David Crockett Birthplace. We have not said we're only going to do one project. We're going to commit to finishing those three projects in Tennessee from the end of February to the end of March. Yep, and then from there, we're going to head over to Montana where we're gonna to go to Bannock State Park and we're gonna be basically re redoing their boardwalks. And from there, we think we're gonna try, we hope to get down to Wyoming because we've been talking to Wyoming State Parks for a while too. Uh, and then we can do that toward the, like the beginning of May. And then if that one doesn't quite work out, which will totally be fine, we're gonna to head to Nebraska, Victoria Springs. And Victoria Springs is gonna happen the week before Memorial Day weekend. We've already talked to the park. They're having their Centennial State Park celebration then. And so they want us to come in and give um, Victoria Springs Recreation Area, almost in the dead center of the state, uh, a renovation, a makeover, so that they can showcase it when they have their Centennial. And, and that that's like the beginning of, that's like the end of May to the beginning of June. Yep. And then beginning of June, we're working on all the final details, but we are working with Oklahoma to start there about the first week of June. So put it on your calendars and start arranging your travel because you're coming with us. We're going to advertise all these um, opportunities on our Facebook group page. We have our Facebook page and we have our group page. The group page is where we do all of our coordination. So head over there and sign up for one of our projects. In order to sign up for a project, we do ask that you send us an email to a year to volunteer at gmail.com. Just between Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, it's a little much to manage where everybody's wanting to join us. So if you could send us an email, that would be awesome. All right, we are here at the Freightliner Custom Chassis Service Center. It's also a training facility for Freightliner techs, getting some work done on the coach. Day two, this thing's going in the shop. <laughs> Hopefully it's day two complete. I used to not drive in this thing. See the uh, the airbags are not coming up in the rear. I need to see that baby on jacks, man. <laughs> Yeah, between our projects, um, we always try to work on the coach because you haven't already figured out everything breaks on these things all the time. We got work every time you move. Yeah, <laughs> you take your house and send it down the road and go ah! 70 miles an hour. Stuff's going to break. Ah. It's all good. If you've never been here, you need to come. Yeah, this place has been amazing. We have full hookups. Well, we have 
electrical hookups, but they have a dump station and water nearby. So it's kind of been like hanging out in an expensive parking lot for free. <laughs> yeah, this is where Odyssey, our coach, um, the chassis was built right here in Gaffney, South Carolina. So we came back to get the work done that we know needs to get done. The airbags in the back weren't, weren't uh, lifting on time. They were taking their time. They were a little sleepy. So we got a dump valve fixed and everything adjusted. Our axle was off two inches to one side and they fixed it. We're heading back to Arizona. So got to get the AC fixed in the dash. That thing went out, I think in South Dakota. So it was already tired. We knew it. They popped a new compressor on and gave us a new uh, condenser and fan assembly. And when we were running uphill, we noticed that the coach was getting hot. And what, uh, what would I do? Panic. <laughs> not panic. Stress. <laughs> she would Worry. panic. I would not panic. We would just watch the temps increase. Uh, lower the gears and go very slow. <laughs> up totally. Hill. Going up to um, Tennessee from here, we crossed the uh, Appalachians and we basically dropped it down to like 27 miles an hour because instead of watching the speedometer, if your engine gets hot, you watch the temperature. So I had the digital gauge and I kind of watched our speed, kept the temperatures in the safe range, came back here, found out that our fan clutch, the big electric fan that pushes air across the radiator stack in the back was not working. It ate itself some time ago, so they replaced that as well. So yeah, we've gotten some maintenance items taken care of, we've gotten some repair things taken care of, and we are feeling good about our coach for the end of 2020. Yeah, I can't wait to take it into the mountains. Where are we, baby? We came back to Florida Caverns. We gotta take, we gotta take a look and see how everything's going. Look. It definitely looks different um, with all the growth because it was kind of barren and sticky, but it's green right now um, because of the summer. Man, you can still tell that a hurricane came through, but it is so cool. Not easy for short people. our first project florida cavern state park we are here we called um a couple of days ago and said hey can we come down and take a look we'd like to catch some uh like some post six or seven month <laughs> um footage on what the place looks like and take a look oh it's so pretty you can see the work we did has remained they've kept it cleaned up it really looks great let's go drive around you want to let's go look at all the things that we did here yeah These guys are, they're part of a federally funded crew under a contractor and they are here getting some work done and they're on the clock, which is great. Let's take a look at these uh, tent sites because uh, the tent sites, they had to do some remediation and some work because of runoff. You know, we built them, it rained, they see where the next problem is and then they fix it. Yeah. It looks good. It does. It really is so great to see it a little bit back to life again. What do you think, bud? What do you think? Is that fun? Do you remember this place? Do you remember? Uh, look at that. Hey, let's go check out the inside real quick.
check this baby out. Well, this remember? is like the Taj Mahal compared to what they had before. They had, what, a couple of, they had like four posts and a shower head. I think that's all they had last time. When we, um, when we talked to Jacob about putting this in, we said, hey, you're gonna want um, hot water? And he goes, no, they're scouts. <laughs> they're lucky they got a roof. Yeah. But this, this shower assembly came out of that crushed trailer that was over at the shop. Um, oh, Rick yeah, Fritcher, yeah. our Home Depot, 23 year Home Depot master craftsman, went over there, grabbed the enclosure out of a trailer that had been damaged uh, during um, Hurricane Michael, and they salvaged it, put it in, and here's the, here's the finished product of this place. Nice! It looks so good! That is fantastic! Yeah, so we've been pretty busy. And yeah, we've been playing and visiting with friends from other projects and uh, traveling and doing a little sightseeing. What are your suggestions and recommendations of places to go between Mississippi all the way over to Arizona, taking the southern route? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to leave in January in Arizona, head back over here. So we either hit it on the way to Arizona or we hit it on the way back. Yeah, but we have you know, a lot of you have traveled there and we want to see what you think is a place to stop and things to see. Thank you so much for following along and we hope you um, continue to do so while we take a little bit of a pause. And we really appreciate your support and everybody joining us and for everybody who helped out with the financial donations to Wild Hearts Equine Therapy Center. You all are awesome. <laughs> so remember, if you like these videos, give us the old thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And hit the notification bell so you get alerted when we post up another video. And remember, you can always find out more about our projects at a yeartovolunteer.com. See you later, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.